Hi all, it's approaching 11.30 a.m. UK time, so we're going to have another Chess24 Banter Blitz. Let's have a look first. Actually, let me just show you this premium screen. You can get 15% off if you use the vouch code King's Crusher. If you go to chess24.com slash premium, there's that vouch code to use. And you can challenge the likes of even Magnus Carlsen, other fantastic grandmasters. And there's going to be lots of them accumulating for some of the major tournaments coming up. So great time to challenge fantastic players with that premium membership. Okay, let's go to the challenge list today and uh, pick off the first challenge. Alakon. Oh, I've just remembered I've got my football. I, I could turn it off if you guys want. Uh, do you want do you want me to turn off the football? I've just realized. Um it, it's quite entertaining. Um I'm not sure you guys appreciate it though. <laughs> I could turn it I I was playing some bullet the other day. Uh during the week. Um Okay. Uh maybe for the next game, back to the normal. Uh so this is a three minute game. So bishop h4, bishop g3, maybe, I think I'll go knight d4 to e6. Okay, he was threatening knight takes d5. Oh, he's going to take this off, but it would allow knight d4 to e6. Maybe he's going to take that off, but I, I do hit the, the a7 knight. Uh, okay, he's letting me have knight e6. Well, I like my knights for a moment. Could I double on... The uh, on the e file, hi all, it's approaching 11 30 a.m. You what time. have I done? We're gonna have another chess 24 banter blitz. Let's have a look. In fact, first. all my settings are messed up. I'm gonna have to edit this. Premium okay, screen. you can get 15% off if you use the vouch code King's Crusher if you go to chess24.com slash premium. There's that vouch code to use. Ah. And you can challenge the likes of even Magnus Carlsen. Other right, fantastic before I lose masters. on time. And there's going to be lots of them accumulating for some of the major tournaments coming up. So great time to challenge fantastic players with that premium membership. Why, why is that playing? Okay, let's go to the challenge list. <laughs> and, okay, I've only lost 30 seconds. <laughs> um... Okay, the sounds next, and oh, um, can I try and emphasise the sounds fresh? Okay, that that'll do for a moment. Um, kind of. <laughs> uh, oh man. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, I find it not entirely wonderful uh, at the moment. That sound effect. I've, the the board is about to be fixed. <laughs> Sorry about this. Uh, okay, I have to do some editing of the first game. I think. Uh, um, you know, I really hate that sound effect. I'm wondering if I should try and change it now. <laughs> okay, so Queen E3. Queen E3 coming up. Uh, okay, I'll take that off gladly. Actually, I can take on H6. Maybe hit F5 coming up. Oh, really? <laughs> really? They were really <laughs> to do some of that. Oh, there's Bishop D four as a resource. Let, let me just <laughs> Okay. Um Sounds uh Fusion 
I, I think fusion. I think back to fusion. All right. How are we now? <laughs> how, is everything? Yeah, I, I think. Um, I think things are going to be more back to normal. <laughs> Just in time for this second game. Okay, I have I have played the move, right? G3. I've played the move G3. Haven't I? <laughs> it is a three minute game. You can't spend half an hour half half a minute on the first move, surely. Has it played the move and gone? <laughs> so I uh, Okay, let's try and keep solid over here. Okay, so knight g4. Has he got knight d4? Is knight d4 a real pain? Uh, do I just take it and play rook c1? Oh, that's interesting. I'm mean, against knight if I can dissuade that. Maybe king h2 f4 is, com is good coming up. Alright, so all right, if I take and then B4 or are there too many pass pawns? I'll try and get a grip on D4 if I can. Maybe B5, is B5 a move before it's too late? Okay. Oh, have I just plundered the exchange? Uh, uh oh, the knight as well. Uh, it's all fallen to bits. I just blundered that knight as well. Excellent. G5, something trying for an attack. <laughs> A rook down. Ah, oh, dear. Okay. Um. There is a check. Maybe knight c7 is useful. some point or rook h2 or rook a7 can I try and stop his pawns um, right these pawns are, are mega dangerous
A um, nick a draw. Unless there's anything better. Don't think there's anything. Yes, try and nick a draw there. Okay. <laughs> well played. Well played. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I, whew, that was wonderful. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so Smith Mora Gambit. <sighs> Can I play E five? Or is it too much? Maybe H three first. Now E five without knight G four. Is more tempting. Knight F six or Knight D six or Knight F six. These look tempting. Um, Castle then knight f6. Okay, knight f6 here though, and then h4, and it's dangerous, surely. I think this is a classic h4 position for h5. I think this is super dangerous for king safety. Okay. I, think I just want to play rook h5 on h5. Just rook h5. So I'm threatening rook h8. Okay, I'm threatening Queen F seven, Queen G seven as an example. I mean that's too dangerous for the Black King here. Hmm. And Queen E eight is uh, looking like Chamaine. Okay, thanks for the game, Nick. Yeah, that was uh that was interesting. Cobra. Uh, okay. Let's try a Slav. Oh, oh it's an anti, anti London system. I'll play Knight F6 and Queen B6. So rook c8 and cd at some point. This looks dangerous for cd and knight b4. Although I could keep the uh, pressure. I think it resolves the pressure. Maybe uh, I don't need to do that. Keep the tension going for a moment. 
till here. When there's really knight d4 now. Except my rook's hanging. Can't play that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just realized the rook's. Oh, he could play c takes. But e takes. Yeah, I can play that one. Uh, maybe I can. That must be. Well, I think that looks pretty solid for me. And can I do this? A4, A3. Oh, there's weaknesses to pick on later. So A4, A3, and Knight E4. Or A4, A3, and Rook C8. So incoming A3. I think there's an idea of um, mm, potentially. Oh, there's a, there's a few ideas. Uh, not Queen D4 just yet, but here I thought, okay, given that there's Knight E5, I have to parry Knight E5 actually. Maybe uh, Bishop F6. I have to take time parrying some stuff. Okay. Um, Bishop G5 here. Would you play F4 as well? I'm just wondering if am I being overly provocative? Maybe I am. Uh, I'll keep that around. F6 looks like a threat. All right. Do this for a moment. Um. Queen B two and Rook F six. There's Bishop D three, but uh, Queen B two coming up. I right, can play Rook here, and there's Queen here for it, and Queen G three. I don't know if my Rook's kind of awkward. On F6 though, if Rook E8, maybe my pawn's too fixed here on A4 as well. Oh, maybe King H8 and Rook G8 for G6. Hmm. Oh, this might not be what it's. Oh, rook e8, rook e4, just exchange sack for bishop f5. Or oh, maybe that's it's not too clever. Or oh, maybe rook f8 for g6. If you've ever takes, well, g g6. No. No, I'm not sure that was that was very uh, bright. Um, okay, M maybe I'm just on f5 here. G5 for a moment. All right, if I attack. B two mm. F six. I think there's Bishop F five on Queen E seven. Is there?
Maybe rook f2, queen g6. I don't have to worry about queen e6 for a moment. Um, queen g6. Maybe queen h3 is, is threatened. Or rook f7 as check picking up the rook. The rook is loose. Okay, I've just noticed that tactical liability. That rook is loose. I have to do something about that. Looseness. I think rook. Okay, c6 drops b7. Is it possible I could just take on h3 here? If queen c7, rook e6, can I just take this? Check. Well, there's a check on D1, but it goes far from things. What about here? Hmm. <clears throat> So, yeah, but it was a lot of pressure from White in that game. Lost the man. There's loads of pressure. Thanks, Cobra. Uh, okay, Frankie for fingers. Hmm. All right, so. Semi Slav. Um, can I find Chateau? Was that really dumb? I don't know. Maybe it's really dumb. Uh, this is an unusual variation, isn't it? Um, H6, knight F6 to E4, or C5. Maybe C5. B6 and Bishop B7. Alright, maybe I should take before D5 happens. Mind you, there's all sorts of horrible things going on there. I mean, D5 is not that bad. Oh. <clears throat> hmm. 
Mm. Maybe it is. Um, I don't know, queen is queen takes plausible? Can I play queen takes? I thought we might be tempted with d6, that looked uh, scary. I suppose. Okay. Is there. A okay, is there knight, a knight f8? Is that too passive? If I take on f3 and then knight f8, he's got bishop d5, I suppose. Um, Bishop e4. I wonder if bishop e4 is any good in the circumstance. Let's just try and drag the knight back for a moment. Uh, or, yeah, hmm. Wait, if, is there a knight f6? Yeah. Um, and you go back somewhere. Oh, he's got rookie six. Okay. Okay, that's not looking too clever. Is there my right, queen d seven? Huh. Yeah, um. Yeah, this isn't good at all, is it? Anything constructive at all? Anything constructive at all? A cheapo with ninety four, maybe on the horizon. No, um, a six b five. I'll play for b five. Hmm. 
mean, he's giving me a potential pass pawn. Oh, he's going to win it. Oh, he's going to win it with bishop e6. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, I should have played b4. Okay, I'm just dropping this pawn as well. Fantastic. Uh, Trickier. I mean, take it on the bishop to keep the blockade. Okay. Place. Yeah, that was I thought I was coming into swindle mode there, but not not on this occasion. <laughs> I thought that there's a once you got a knight, uh, you know, knight can fork be tricky, but not enough. Uh, okay, this game I think e5 is good actually here. Yeah, that's the problem with this. <clears throat> Okay, so um Okay, knight f seven looks um yeah, very very dangerous. Uh for Queen E six and uh it's pretty dangerous. Taking on H A or maybe um, yeah, I think I'll take on I'll take on F six. I'll take this.
Queen, I don't know, maybe Queen H8 or K97. Okay, uh, Queen, maybe Queen H8. Uh, is that ridiculous? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe it's. What about Queen? Okay, Queen G7. As long as there's no check from the bishop. Okay, so Queen F7 again. And it gives Queen E6. Five here. Oh, take and C three. Okay. So knight C five and then knight E six. So G three and uh, knight C five. Or just knight c5 uh, looks good. And, uh, okay, so rook e7 is threatened. Okay. Bishop's limited, isn't it? Because I think Bishop b7, Rook b8, and if Bishop f5, Rook f8, it looks as though, yeah, thanks. That's winning material, that it seems. Thanks, Teja. Hi there. I don't know if knight c6 is a great pre move to start off with. Um, depends really what weight does, I suppose. I could use it as a pre-move, um, or King's Engine, maybe King's Engine. Okay, so we've got this King's Engine versus London system going. I'm wondering Queen E8 is a nifty sort of ish move. If I want Rook later used on the FR, um, okay, so Queen E7, E4, and Knight C5. Or, yeah, I think Queen E7. Uh, no, okay. Is it E4 or to E4 or not to E4? That is the question. Okay, knight h5 protects e5. Oh, rook d8 for knight c5, maybe. Maybe rook d8 is, is interesting here. Given he, he might play um, uh, bishop h2, g4, and back to the e5 problem. Maybe rook d8 to start off with. I'm tempted though for uh, 
something else here now. Hmm. F5? Is that too dangerous? Uh. <laughs> ah, this is a little... Yeah, it looks dodgy. This looks double-edged, actually. <laughs> um, don't know if it's immediately losing, but it looks double-edged, F5, given that there is knight g5 hitting the knight. And uh, maybe uh, h6. Maybe. If, if he takes the h uh, don't know. Uh, knight, okay, that's tempting. All right, can I move? Um, in this case, can I move that just back? And then maybe knight e4 or e4, knight e4. Hmm. H six G five. Maybe also knight C five rook D eight. These things are interesting. Hmm. There's G five here tactically. Oh, there's Bishop G five. That doesn't work. Bishop G five on pin. Um. Well, that leaves two bishops hanging there. Ah, okay. This is getting sharp. A fracture. I've got fractures. <laughs> All right, rook d8, bishop a6. I've got fractures. Rook d8 and bishop a6 seem active. Ah, uh, rook d8, bishop a6. Right, so c4, knight d3. Is that interesting? Knight d3. c4, knight d3. Oh, okay. I'll take that rook. Hmm. Maybe my king. Oh, maybe. Uh, okay. Yeah. Can play for B five. Get the queen out of there. Or is there queen B four? Is that annoying? Knight A four on the tempo. All right, so C five for C four. Looks interesting. And rook D three. Mind you, there's, I suppose there's bishop e2. Can I do some sort of interesting exchange sack? Just the interesting or not? Or it's not really, um, maybe it's not needed. Mind you, e4, yeah, I think maybe it might not be needed, but maybe it makes it easier to play. Undouble the pawns. To make it easier to play. Uh, maybe knight c5 to b3 after. It's a protected past pawn. It's an entrenched knight on b3. Uh, I don't want to lose e4 moving the rook back. Yeah, I'd rather sag back. The exchange here. Yeah. Um, okay. So uh, that should be a little bit easier to play. So I'm looking forward to knight c5 to b3 and that pass pawn. If e4, knight e4 protects g5. Actually, knight e4 might be interesting anyway. Okay, that protects g5. Alright, I'll take on g3, I think, here. Right, d2. There's rook d1. Let me just hit h6 for a moment. Hmm. 
Okay, e4, queen e4, queen g3. Maybe that's. I don't want a blockading knight on e4. I'd rather, yeah, just. Uh, Ah, okay. Okay. Um, B four plan or H five H four? Does he want to win? the e4 pawn I wonder yeah okay it's a pin for a moment um oh well, I probably want to break down these pawns for this bishop Bishop C3. If I take Queen F6, all right. I think D2 there. Thanks, Tajay. Yeah, that was interesting. Uh, Syrian. Hi there. Okay. Um. Okay, one, <laughs> two, ah, uh, not very creative today. <laughs> Three, four, okay, oh, we got again. Okay. Reverse Austrian attack, if that's any good for black, I don't know. Is let me get an E four, that's a bit of a space scanner, isn't it? All right, okay. Knight D three looks tasty. But he has got bishop f1, but it gives me time for c6. I think I do want to play like this in knight g4. Okay, there might not be anything that immediate here if it castles queen side. Yeah. Can I still go for queen h2 though? It's uh, interesting use of this space a lot. It's just queen h2. Has he got queen f1 on bishop g2? There's Bishop G3 for Knight E3. 
and then knight g2. I don't know if I get really badly pinned with queen f2. That's something to sort of... Oh, do I play it now? I get badly pinned um, or not. Yeah, maybe it's too much to think. Knight h3 is going to be annoying. I think I probably should at least play g5 to stop knight h3 with bishop e7 to stop knight f4 if I'm not going to play this tactic. Right, there is actually knight e6 is cuter to hold g5. So I guess I want to play bishop e7 castle and later under good circumstances bishop g3 for knight e3. I don't know if maybe he just plays um, Queen H1 at some point. All right, is there Bishop B5 here? That gives me Bishop D3 as well. I don't know if Bishop D3 is worth playing. I would take that. Maybe B6. I think B6. Stop knight c5. Uh, right. Go okay, here. Yeah. I think rook h. Hmm. Okay. Ah. Uh, rook. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I think. Yeah, rook h. Yeah. Maybe I ideally I want king d7. I don't want any hassle with rook c6. Um. Although I suppose there's bishop c7. Okay. For king d7. It's not that much hassle. These pieces are not doing anything there. If I play bishop c7 and then king d7 and then rook h2 and then knight d3, in fact, okay, I think this first, but actually there's rook h1 as well. Okay, so knight here is on the e3. I think there's a nice pin coming up with rook h1. Um, but also, um, well, Ah, uh, there's Bishop G3 here. If that's interesting. And then Bishop D6 and F4. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, that was that was tricky. I think from the opening. Okay. Um. Final. Hi there. Ah. Uh, I'll try knight c3. Okay. Um, okay, I'll play for f5 soon. Do I wait for him to castle? No, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to wait for him to castle. I'm going to try and puncture these knight squares. <clears throat> okay. I 
Look how free to a train. Oh, it has got, it has got knight g4. That could be a bit annoying. Oh, he's shutting down my my bishop. Right, let's just do this for a moment to hit h6. And try and put pressure on c4, f7 layer. Okay, this so that it makes e4 solid. It gives me a g file. And the immediate threat is bishop h6. Okay, I'll take that. That's bishop g5 on g5. So there's still a threat of bishop h6. All right, okay. Still a threat of bishop h6. Okay, have I won enough pawns or do I need something else? Um, <clears throat> okay, that's interesting. I thought he would get the queens off. Okay. Because I've got the G file here uh, to work with. Let's play with the G file. Or not. Okay, that's. Let's work the G file. The queen's off. I can take on C4, surely. So something like. Alright, if I take that. Looking forward to bishop f7 and rook g6. So bishop f7. Okay, there's another pawn. Oh, I didn't mean that. I've just screwed everything. Ah, uh, have I? <laughs> Pardon the French. <laughs> I didn't mean to say screwed everything. That's not. That's a technical expression. I know. It's a very. <laughs> the technical expression I meant to say <laughs> was I might have slightly messed this up. <laughs> yes. So uh, anyway, okay. Okay. Ah, uh, right. It's it's still in control for a moment. Just about. It's still in control. Okay. Um. Yeah. I would say. Um. Okay. <sighs> uh. Although I am confused now. How to proceed? Okay, the uh, there's pressure. There's a little bit of pressure. It is a few pawns up. It shouldn't be a big deal. Maybe I can even sack the exchange because that knight's going to be annoying. My knight's going to be annoying. If I just take that, it's another pawn bites the dust. I'm managing to get rid of all my opponent's pawns in this game. Okay. <sighs> okay. But have I given him 
play. Have I given him hope? Ah, uh, I probably have, haven't I? Yeah, I'm giving him stuff now. Back, giving him back stuff. Lots of stuff, but I still think if my king comes up here, it's dangerous with the knight on d5. There is that past pawn over there. Um. A5, I, f I still think this is quite dangerous. The knight's kind of nice. Um, there's knight c7 in this particular position. Okay. All right, so there's still a there's still a knight c7. A knight of 6. Oh, this looks very good for trying to weave. I'm meeting that with um, e6 and rook f7. E6 here looks. Oh, do I need to do that? I'm playing as badly as Leela against Stockfish, I think, right now. I'm managing to uh, give away nearly everything. <laughs> this isn't great technique. This is this cannot be great technique. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, I still think there's nagging pressure. Uh, so Rook B7, King somewhere. There looks to be nagging pressure. Am I imagining this? Okay, uh, king e6 and rook b8. All right, rook b6 is a clear and imminent threat. Right. All right, there is a check for f6. No, I, okay, that wasn't the greatest <laughs> technique or anything. Ah, uh, thanks. Um, so I, for some reason, I thought I got to take off the knight. I thought the knight is going to be naughty, but then the rooks are crashing through on the queen side, collecting some pawns. I don't know. Uh, okay, d5. Maybe I don't, I don't know. D5 looks like a move. I don't know. Is it? Looks as though I don't know the theory of this at all. This queen d6, actually. Um, but it looks as though here I'm winning c7. Ah, uh, so is this check any good? Get that knight out. OK. 
Okay, is there like rook d2 in the circumstance? This is interesting. And pin. Can I not? Can I take that? sort of material up I don't really mind I suppose as long as I don't blunder this rook and that will make things tricky because five pawns each I can go back to square one if I blunder the rook um This looks as though I might be able to win this from here. All right, thanks for the game. Um, of light. Gris Grizzik. So d6 and if if I just another uh, king's engine, yeah. Okay, king's engine and Vincenzo. Encourage d5 here. All right, put some pressure on e4. Classic start position. Is knight e4? Knight e4 is not possible, is that? This rings a bell from a recent Lena Stockfish game in TSEC. Uh, so c4, yeah, it's a bit weak here. Knight e5 is going to be winning c4. Or knight takes c4. Hits that b2. Maybe that's more to the point. Knight c4 to hit b2. So this gives rise to uh, knight b2 and queen f6. Or can I just do this for a moment? Um, yeah, I think I want to bring my queen out to a5. Queen to a5, hitting c3, pinning against e1. Can I play bishop c3 here? This looks like it's winning material. Alright, so bishop e6, rook e6, okay. Queen a2. <clears throat> so bishop g7, queen a1. Okay, would be the plan. Thanks. Yeah. Um, the winger. All right, I'll try e4. Uh, 
Oh, have we got a game? Right. One elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four elephants, five elephants, six elephants, <clears throat> seven elephants, eight elephants, nine elephants. I think we're going to have to abort. Off a flag. <clears throat> um, I'll try a Vienna game. I think it's a little bit different. Vienna game to the classic Royal Pass. I think Spassky might have played this variation uh, once or twice. Um, some B fell pressure, some pressure on the diagonal. If black takes on C3. D5 pressure. D3 and uh, F4 coming up? Or D4? Ah, maybe D4. braver to play d4 maybe a little bit braver knight takes b takes i just want to hit that e6 quickly um maybe hmm Yeah. Yeah, I think this is a could be a comfortable possession from the opening. I'm imagining it. Is it? Am I imagining this? Okay. It's possible I'm imagining it. Um Well there's something to play with here. There's the B file. Uh there's this knight e six lurking. Um, make an, I can improve on that with bishop e3 for knight e6, bishop c5. In fact, all right, what, what does black play here uh, anyway? Do I, I mean, do I want to uh, play knight e6 or bishop e3 if he castled? If he castled knight e6, I'm not sure it's that big a deal necessarily. He could take the queens off. He's left with that pawn. I think bishop e3 keeps more tension in the game. I think if the opponent's got less time, keeping the pieces on generally, uh, trying to cause that disaster, tactical disaster. Okay. So the knight holds c5. There's another aspect here. I think queen h5. All right. Yes, that's possible. But instead of I can play queen h5 here, I think, to try and create some kingside weaknesses and hit c5. There might be bishop e4. So, okay. Uh, it's It looks pretty pleasant, I think, right now. Okay, so uh, bishop g5 or rook d1 or knight f5. There's a few interesting. I think I think this one. Oh, or bishop h3. Do I keep the tension going again? I think, uh, I don't know now. Okay. Yeah, maybe maybe I keep keep this bishop just in case. 
although he's cutting across these squares it's a little bit dangerous this or there's rook b7 I get a coordination on f7 coming up I don't know if that's worth it maybe it is for this puncture e e3 pawn my structure isn't great but f7 is great I mean the pressure on f7 Right, so uh, Queen H6. It means maybe you know Bishop G5 is coming up. There's also the option of Queen E3 here on Knight. Oh, knight takes E3. Queen takes E3. Oh, hang on, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. I'm threatening something here. I'm threatening Knight F5. Uh, potentially, potentially. Okay. Uh, I don't know about the e4 square there. If the queen comes to e4, I'm a little bit worried. Maybe um, I could retract this queen. Oh, oh, decisions. Okay, I'll retract the queen for a moment. Structurally more solid, I suppose. And just take this queen off. There is bishop d7 after. And then bishop c6. Is that working? Or not? Or knight c6. Maybe knight c6. Alright, if he plays rook d7, yeah, there's rook c7 at the end of this. Skewing. Alright, this rook and pawn ending, I think, should be okay. There's two pawns up. Hide the king. Okay, trying to evict this rook from being naughty. I'll start using the C pawn. Yeah, that king's cut from the C pawn. Thanks. Okay. Chess piece to Austria. Um. One elephant, two elephants. Three elephants, four elephants, five elephants, six elephants. Okay, we got a game. I mean, there's a there's a way of getting a small edge in this if I can remember it. <laughs> Which <laughs> how, how does it go? How does it go? Is it Bishop D three ninety two? Bishop E three. Oh, great! I don't know. Knight C three. Bishop D three ninety two. There's a specific point. Well, there's a couple of points about this um, that I don't want Black to have Bishop G4. I think the Knight's better on the uh, E2 sometimes. Uh, okay, well, this is very different anyway. I think this needs thinking about. 
Um, let me just react to this knight on uh, b6 for a moment. This looks very, very, very dangerous. Uh, knight b5. It takes d6, knight c7. It looks very dangerous. Uh, knight b5. Yeah. Knight d7, knight b5, knight c5, bishop c5, d takes, c, d6, knight moves. It looks dangerous. Here's c5. It looks very dangerous. So I'll take it here. Okay, I can pin that. Or or pin it. Pin it or not pin it. I think pin it. Rook d one, bishop e six. There's bishop e seven there. Trying to win material. I assume it wins material, bishop e seven. Bishop e6, bishop e7. I think wins material. Because of knight d5 after. Bishop be four, king f one. All right, yeah, I think that b six is a bit of a liability sometimes. Um, again, I think the end of the game is an interesting thing to check out. H3 and D3, and then castle and King H2 gives me a standard plan of F4 and F5. Right. Maybe, maybe this isn't so brilliant. Uh, maybe he's got a point. Well, can I play? Okay, can I play F4? Coming up, F four. Right, so s something like C three and F takes and D four. Coming up, this this idea of playing for D four. So F takes and D four coming up. If you played uh, e4, maybe I don't win that pawn. Maybe I do. All right, I'll do this. Try and get the f4 square. I want to seal this diagonal because otherwise knight g4 and queen tactics. And so knight f4. D five. I think Knight F four seems sensible. D five looks to be like self pin. I think I'm just going to quickly play Knight F four because I don't unlike the self pins that much. Uh, um, okay, so Rook F two. Uh, that gives me B three maybe. And a4 coming up. I think in general to avoid self pins and blitz or bullet in general is a good idea. So b3, a4, even if it's lucrative for winning material. Uh, 
All right, so a4 gives potentially a5 trapping the bishop. So he could take on b3, but I've got a5 here trapping the bishop coming up. All right, that is a pin. There's a pin and win. Scenario forcing the opponent in a. So, oh! Oh, that's naughty. Game on, game on. <laughs> no, I don't know now. I don't know. Okay. Well, the queen's awkward though. Queen d2, d5 gives queen c3. Looking at g7, there's actually nothing. Um, Okay, G takes though here for the G file might be the best bet. I still think that's awkward G seven right now. So if I'm gonna be cheekily preparing Queen C three. So D five takes Queen C three. I I just don't see how he's defending G seven here. That's the bishop without the counterpart. That G seven looks a major issue. Gives up a piece with knight e5. It's not ideal. I'm going to play a few more minutes actually today because we lost a few minutes at the start. Uh, so maybe 10 past. I don't think there's any pressing about it anyway because of the uh, theme uh, issue at the start, which I'm going to be editing out. So maybe I should just play another game after this. Bonus today. Because uh, I'll be editing out the first part of the video, uh, I think. Okay. So, um, all right, A takes looks uh, plausible here to hit the queen. Uh, where is the queen going? A takes is is looking dangerous because it sort of unpins this. If he takes, I take and take on e six. Okay, we take on e six. And there's no concern here because of bishop d five. Right, so bishop d5 and e6 or um, bishop d5 and e6 okay or playing for rook d8 Right, bishop d5 here. And nudge this. I want to play maybe bishop c6, maybe b5 and bishop c6. Just the unblockade. I think there's e6 on king f7. I'm going to play a bonus game, uh, try and make up for the uh, interesting start today. Um, okay, please let me win as well. <laughs> let me win. Okay. Again, I, I think I've had some success with the Vienna, Vienna game, so. Uh, This h3 and knight g, it's a comfortable setup for blitz, I think. It's not too much thinking or complexity. Uh, knight g e2, d3, it doesn't seem too. Yeah. So I castle king h2, it's the same basic plan. Maybe. Um, 
I'm a bit boring with my same basic plans. Okay, King, King H2, F4, but it's kind of lucrative for a fun position in a way because it does gain space quite aggressively. Uh, it's yeah, reverse King's engine style. F4, F5. The King's engine was a major weapon by Kasparov and Fisher. They both love the King's engine with black against D4. So it's kind of King, King's engine style with white. Um. Let's see, so f5 coming up, g4, knight g3, unless um, there's an issue with knight g4, don't think there is, so knight g3 coming up, and h4, g5 is a bit squishy, I would hope, h4, g5. I probably do want to sack a pawn after knight h7. Do I want to sack a pawn? Probably. It looks as though f6 is dangerous. Or queen h5. Well, in fact, isn't there anyway? There's knight d5 in any case. Uh, which looks kind of delicious. Tempo. Knight d5, queen d8, c3. The knight moves, queen h5. Or just f6. Yeah, I think given... Ah, uh, okay. So... Ah. Uh, I should Maybe I should have played that straight off the bat. Okay. There's f6 here. Oh no, this is getting a bit tricky. And the drop c2 here. Have to drop c2. It is a bit of a penalty. Dropping c2, but on the other hand, I think rook h1 and the h file is dangerous. So okay, knight c2. Uh, I'll give him that for a moment. Uh, so yes, I could have avoided a lot of this with knight d5. I think that would have been a big improvement. Ah. Hmm. No, it's being messed up, isn't it? It's being messed up. Is there anything which kind of keeps things going a little bit? Is f6 maybe something like that? Try and keep some pressure going. Maybe knight f5 to get a knight to e4. At least try and get a knight to e4 is a bit of something. It's got knight g5. He's really parried this very well. Okay, so knight e4. Have I got a g file potential? Or not? Oh, my king's exposed. Oh, he's got 93. Oh, it's not check immediately, but it's kind of looking pretty terminal, uh, all of this. Ah, <laughs> oh, crikey. I've got a threat of knight takes and then f6. Have I? Oh, he just he just pins that. Oh, he could just pin that. He could have just pinned that. He didn't need to do that. He let me win. Let me win. Let me win. <laughs> Sorry, but I think he just pins. It wasn't a big deal. He just pins. 
He didn't have to lose the queen. Oh. Uh, I I I know I'm I'm Okay, I'm about to lose this anyway, the way I'm playing it. It's only gonna go into these pins on the G file sooner, I'm sure of it. Check. Okay, King F two. Alright, Queen takes B seven. Uh, yes, he let me win. I have to check this out, but maybe I have to check this out. I think he just moved the king. That was a slip up. Let's have a quick look at that. Um, that was the last little danger. The last little danger to address, I think, was um, this knight takes g5 was the last little thing. But I think just here, uh, just king f8, just as I mentioned about pins in blitz, just pins, major, major thing. Uh, yeah, just just not taking there. Uh, that's that was just the, yeah. It only makes me slightly better apparently. Oh no, a bit better, quite a bit better. But at least take the the rook. Yeah. Okay. I yeah yeah. I I think though uh, earlier I think I slipped up with um, not playing a uh, knight d5. You know this position. I still had. Knight d5, the knight. Oh, he's okay. You're threatening queen h4, so I play that, and then you, I'm not sure you played c6 immediately. So now you haven't got queen h4. It gives me a chance to big knight d5 here, and that's that's that must be a great tempo gainer. No, surely this position. Okay, what happens here? Well, I can take off that bishop and. Then I can kick the knight. I, I don't think all this stuff with c2 would be happening. I, I kick the knight in both cases. Um, once this knight's kicked, yeah, I haven't got the knight there that I did have. Surely just c3 is, is okay. Okay, so I missed knight d5. You missed king f8. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed today, yeah. Um, all right, yeah. Uh, thanks. Yeah, no, the, but the G5 was brilliant. The diagonal defense was absolutely brilliant to start off with. Um, all right, so you let me win there. Let me win. Another time. Thanks very much. All right, uh, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, all right, keep safe, guys. Uh, 20 seconds washing hands. I have a five-second rule. Five seconds like that. Five like this. Five like this. Five like this. Five. I try and make sure it's at least 20 seconds after touching every surface right now. I just don't want anything to happen to you. I need to be able to play you every week. <laughs> so keep safe. Keep keep isolated pawn mode. Yeah. 20 seconds hand washing. I make it a lot of fun. You know, count five seconds on each action. You get to 20 seconds. It's the soap which gets rid of that um, envelope of that thing. So that horrible thing going around. Okay. Keep safe. See you next week then. Thanks very much.